Um, with that, I'm happy to introduce uh, our first speaker, which is Pablo Maturana from the University of Barcelona. And Pablo is going to be talking about the neural mechanisms of emotion regulation, um, a study with fMRI and dynamic causal modeling. Um, Pablo, if you want to share your presentation with us. Okay, I can start now. Okay, uh, good morning. My name is Pablo. Um, I would like to speak about today about the emotion regulation and a study with fMRI and using DCM um, and dynamic causal modeling. I'm working in the psychiatry service in Belvita Hospital here in Barcelona and in the University of Barcelona. And I would like to start this presentation with this sentence of Olaf Sporn. Um, because the brain is a complex system, maybe the most big um, system complex uh, in the world, or maybe in, in the universe, I don't know. And it's interesting because the brain is a fixed architecture, it's only one architecture, <clears throat> characterized by its uh, connectivity. But this architecture has many functions, uh, like uh, action, perception, or cognition. For me, it's, it's very interesting using the neuroimaging data to understand um, what is the dialectic between a structure and function. I think the most important study in, in my case is to analyze the connectivity in patients with pathology or, or, or normal patients. So I would like to make uh, two or three slides to speak about the connectivity, what mean the connectivity. Uh, we have here three kinds of connectivity. Uh, a structural connectivity, this uh, is only a, about the presence of axonal connection. Uh, for example, in this case, tractography, DTI, or a tracer study in, in monkeys. Functional connectivity is a statistical dependency between regional uh, time series. Uh, in this case, we can use the information with fMRI or EG or MEG, and, and we can study the correlation or uh, study using uh, independent component uh, analysis. And finally, the effective connectivity is the influence between neurons or neuronal population. Uh, what is the relation in one area with other area? In this case, we can study the direction. <clears throat> what is the technique to study the effectivity connectivity? There are many, but maybe the most uh, important in this moment because have many components is the dynamic causal modeling or the DCM. Other is the Granger causality, other technique is CEM. So I would like to speak um, in general about the, the DCM because maybe it's a little bit complicated, but I would like to, to say something in general. Here we have a network and the network is composed of the nodes. In, in this case, our region of the brain or boys or roys, the connection between this node and one input to, to modulate the response. So in fMRI, uh, the result uh, we have the signal is the signal bolt. It's only is a contrast. And in this technique, <clears throat> uh, we come to a study or we come to understand what, what is the, the neural response. But it's not directly, it's indirectly using the signal bolt. So in this technique, in DCM, uh, we need to model the response neural, neural response. So we need an equation to, to understand or to approximate the response. And in this case, we have this equation. It's not complicated because we have here the function in relation with x, x 
in, in this case is the node. Uh, U is the input and uh, this letter is the parameters. So we have here the response and uh, neural response. And on the other side, we have here defined the signal ball. So we have here two equations to, to understand or to approximate what is the response neural in, in, in activity, in one activity or in a task in fMRI. So how we, we can do uh, this approximation? Um, X in this case is the node, is in relation with the time because it's a time series. And uh, to understand this equation, we need an uh, other equation or other series. This is the Taylor series, and the Taylor series give a response or approximation on this uh, question. What is the uh, neural response? So we have here A, A B, and C, three uh, different um, components in this Taylor, Taylor series to understand the network. So in this case, A is uh, endogenous connectivity, is the, the, the connectivity is the edge between one node and other node. B uh, in this case is the modulation of connectivity. In this case, uh, the input modulatory and the drain modulatory uh, is a representation uh, of response of the brain because the brain in some time respond fast on, on other, car, uh, other case respond uh, slow. This is the paper to uh, speak about what mean the driver or the modulator response. And finally we have C and C is the driving input is what is the input to understand my network. I know the explication is, is easy, uh, but I would like to, to give a general mark to understand what's mean the DCM. So <clears throat> in my case, in my study, I'm studying the uh, emotion regulation and obesity, uh, because what is the relation between this uh, topic uh, there are many uh, studies uh, speak about the relation in uh, this kind of passion in obesity uh, with uh, emotional regulation. So, for example, I put here some examples, alexithymia, uh, difficulty in, in fine feeling and externally oriented thinking style, which in turn my inference, interference with subsequent emotional regulation response. There are many studies speak about what is the role or why is important the emotional regulation in obesity. Uh, for example, here is, is, is a good uh, approach to take the, the emotion to understand why is the final cause to obesity. So there are many papers to speak about this subject. <coughs> uh, review, etc. So, my goal in this case is to study uh, the emotional regulation uh, in this kind of passion and in other group of passion control, in especially in one task. This task is reappraisal. Uh, what's mean reappraisal is rethinking the meaning of affective charge stimulus or events. So I have here um, an, a scheme in general to show the, maybe the most important part in relation with the reappraisal task. In this case is the amygdala in relation with the prefrontal cortex. In this case, ventromedial, dorsomedial, and the regulation to amygdala, in especial to emotion. So my study is part of this study, it's a study general to, to understand the emotion regulation in women with obesity. And I would like to uh, study in special what is the direction uh, or what happened in this kind of fashion. 
So I have here um, the task. The task is the real price. This is a classical task. Uh, you have image, silent emotional picture during 20, uh, 20 seconds, and then uh, other kind of image in 20 seconds. And the task in this case is maintain, is maintain the motion or suppress, is suppress the emotion. In this case, for me, the most important thing in this case is suppress because when the passion suppress, it's possible to see the, the, the regulation of the emotion. So in this case, for me, the, the input to modulate my network is the suppress or, or regular. So this is the sample uh, I have um healthy weight control uh, 18 patient and always patient uh, and 70 patient here's on the the area to study the amygdala and two area in the prefrontal cortex the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and ventromedial prefrontal cortex here are the coordinating and and i so this is the, the driving and modulatory input to my network. In this case, the, the first input is, um, I put here emotion, but in general is aphotic, it's all the image. The, when the patient see the, the, the image, for me is the input to my network. But the most important thing in this case is um, this signal uh, because it's when the patient uh, suppress the emotion. So for me, I would like to analyze in this uh, patient with obesity, how uh, can uh, regulate the emotion. So this is the modulate uh, signal to analyze my net. So this is the proposed model. So I have here the amygdala and the ventromedial prefrontal cortex and dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. And I think about the modulation in all the connection. So in this model, um, I have four uh, modulation to four connection. And I would like to analyze why, why is the Weiner model in this case, in patient healthy okay. and patient with I'm obesity. Really yes. Sorry, you have to skip ahead a little bit. You're past your time. Um, if you want to jump to your results and conclusions, that'd be awesome. Okay, okay. And so uh, I have here the result to the healthy patient. The healthy patient is the is the model proposed in the bibliography and the modulation in the two. Uh, area, the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex and the ventral medial prefrontal cortex regulate the activity in amygdala. This is correct. But the problem here is the, the patient with obesity because this connection or the modulation, the modulation in this connection is, is not uh, seen, uh, it's not upper in, in this case. So uh, this is maybe the conclusion, the, the, the healthy subject and describe the bibliography, the regulation of amygdala by ventromedia prefrontal cortex and dorsolateral frontal cortex is correct. It's, it's like a bibliography, but in, in this patient with others, uh, only I can see the uh, modulation with amygdala to the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Thank you very much. We do have some time for questions. Um, and the first question is here already by um, Elena. Um, Elena, I'm going to um, allow you to talk so you can unmute yourself to ask your question, please. I can ask it on your behalf as well. Yeah, okay. So uh, I'd like to ask, uh, there is a case uh, when obese people uh, lose weight. And uh, I think uh, that uh, it's not always, uh, uh, it's not always uh, permanent, but do you think that uh, there is, uh, there may be some changes in emotional regulation in these cases and uh, how do emotional regulation vary across the lifetime? Do you know something? Okay. 
Yeah, this is a good question uh, because when I study this passion, uh, when I say uh, passion with obes or, or with obesity, this passion with an uh, EMS uh, is higher, is maybe the 14. So it's, it's not possible to change this EMS uh, in this. It's not one or two kilograms. Uh, there's this passion with obes is, is a diagnostic. It's, it's not more or less uh, kilogram. Thank you. In the interest of time, we will have to move on. Please do ask your questions in the chat. Or the